Emmett Lyons, backline attack coach, uh, Ricardo Lopesha and uh, Andre Warner. Both of these gents either have played or coached against or for our opponents this week. Um, so I thought it would be fitting to just have a chat to them. So uh, whoever wants to kick us off, we've got 10 minutes for the session, guys. Um, let's kick it off. Hi, uh, how's it, guys? I think I'll go if that's all right. All good, all good, thanks. thanks. Hi, Coach. Hi, Andre. Um, it's Morgan. Uh, I, I, let's just continue what, uh, what was said there, that you guys have both played or coached that uh, start from, say. What can we expect from, from a French team uh, playing them for the first time as a South African side in a competitive environment? What can we expect from, from the French? I think the, if you look at the, the top 14 lot, they're definitely in the top four. So um, I think that if you look at their DNA, how they want to play the game, it's all about just playing a massive kicking game and just putting, putting you under pressure by uh, forcing mistakes, kicking behind you. And then obviously the attack, uh, they got some brilliant runners. Um, our discipline needs to be good. Um, they got a 10 who's a good goal kicker. Um, yeah, a big boot on him. And just a back three, if your, if your kicking game is not uh, on the money, they're going to hurt you with counter-attack uh, from anywhere. The, uh, the, the opposite is also true. They've never played in South Africa in a competitive match. Uh, so how do you take advantage of our conditions? Um, today it is quite miserable, but uh, if we can maybe get some, hopefully we'll have a bit of warm weather and, uh, and stuff on Friday. But how do we take advantage, or the Lions take advantage of, of the conditions? Yeah, Morgan, we, we, we touched on it this morning and we were just talking about our discipline. Um, yeah, at the moment we're just conceding too many penalties. Uh, we're just making too many unforced errors. Uh, from our point of view, if we get our discipline sorted, um, be more patient, uh, stick to our systems, use opportunities. And, and obviously, if you if you can put them under pressure, use their altitude, uh, play a hard tempo game, I think that's one way to put them under pressure. Yeah, I, they also have a, lot, a few South Africans in the squad. So I think the break them in that in that um, regard. Um, they, they know what to expect of altitude. Um, so yeah, I think they'll be prepared for it. Thanks, Mox. Any other questions, guys? You're probably going to play against Vincent Koch. Are you ready for him? <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah, I think uh, we have to. Yeah, definitely. You can't single out any players. Um, but I think Vince, uh, we know Vincent, what he can do. And then it's obviously uh, the rest of the, the pack, the Georgians. Uh, they got some physical guys. They, they scrum well. Um, they can put you under pressure with ball in hand. So the big thing for us is to pitch uh, physically. So physicality is a big thing for us uh, going into this game. We saw the Stormers game versus Clermont. Uh, second half, uh, if you're not if you're physically or your physicality is not there on a day, they can they can hurt you. Thank you, Saro. Morg, Morgan. Thanks, Janice. How's it, Ricardo? Hi, Andre. How's it? Um, how different is this game for you guys this week against Stade Francais, considering that your opponents were the Dragons last week as a team that you've played against a couple of times over the last year or two, and this is going into the unknown, albeit you've got home ground advantage? But just from our side, from experience, uh, Morgan, is that um, it's always tough to play the same team uh, twice or three times in a row. Um, so that was, we knew that's going to be a challenge for us uh, because obviously you come up with a plan and they don't. They, were, they do their homework on us. Um, but I think that just going back to our week, our challenge this week against uh, Stuff and say um, it will be different. Um, it's, uh, as I said, a team with a lot of uh, intent on attack. They kick a lot of attacking kicks. Um, the important thing for us is to, to handle the attacking kicks, um, be more disciplined than them, and just to take opportunities. Yeah, I think it's a experience all the all the players are looking forward to as well. Um, we treating the week same as every other week. Um, we're doing our video sessions. Um, you know, the coaches analyzing, uh, giving us the game plan. So, yeah, we will be prepared in that regard. Um, yeah, but the guys are really looking forward to uh, to to the challenge. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Morgan.
Heinz. Good morning, James. Hope you're well. Um, Ricardo, I just wanted to ask, um, it's interesting that you mentioned, you know, taking your opportunities better this week and stuff, but when you look at the stats that, were, that are at our disposal, you know, you guys actually scored 31 points with 44% possession. Um, so that sort of like seems to suggest that when you guys got into the zone, you guys actually did, you know, manage to get your points. But um, do you, um, is that lack of possession perhaps something that concerns you ahead of it, or is it not necessarily that big a thing? I think the, it's just down to standards. Um, Heinz, if you feel, I just showed the boys this morning that you're getting the 90%, right? But we're always uh, chasing after the 10%, so you can get to 100%. Um, and yeah, we just had a few missed opportunities and um, we, we touched on our, our decision making, our ability to scan and to identify those opportunities and to take it. Yeah, and I agree with you at the moment. Yeah, we, one of the positives out of the game is definitely the four tries. Uh, but I feel there's lots of room to, for improvement, um, taking all opportunities. I would love for us to get to a point where, where we say we had 10 opportunities and we scored 10 tries. I think as a tech coach and a background coach, that's what, we, that's what we're chasing. Andre, and just, um, just from your perspective, um, was it difficult um, last season for you actually injury-wise and selection-wise and stuff? Um, you took your time also to, to stake your claim again um, this year, but um, just how's the journey been and, and are, you, are you happy to be finally part of the whole rotation, mix up, uh, um, shake up and that type of thing and how are you feeling? I'm, I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, we trust the coaches, they, they communicated. With all our, with, they communicate with all the nines. So yeah, we help each other out. Um, when I didn't play now, I, I kept sharp. Um, I knew when I when I get my chance, I have to play well. So yeah, that's that's just a mindset thing I've um, I, I worked on. Um, so yeah, just awesome to get it every week. If you get an opportunity, you have to take it. And also, I'm um, just sorry, Andre. Just from a player's perspective, even yourself, um. There, there was a time in South African rugby where where many um, coaches and players said, you know, they sometimes struggle, you know, with the culture of rotation that's pretty much been, you know, the standard in Europe, you know, for years now. But it really seems that South African players in general have embraced that now. Do you think that culture has shifted now? Yeah, I think with the new competition as well, we play a lot of games. Um, there's now two, two, two competitions running together. So... I think everybody has to has to stay sharp. Um, but yeah, like our coaches will also tell you they they're on performance. Um, yeah, they'll if you don't perform, then the next guy is in. So um, yeah, that's that's a thing we have to have to work on every week. And yeah, that's that's how I keep sharp mentally. And yeah, you have to you have to bring it every week. Thanks, Hans. We'll go Ross, and then we'll finish off with Simon. Thanks, Nuneso. Um, just adding on to uh, Heinz's question there about the rotation, uh, Ricardo, um, Yokes have obviously rotated a bit over the last few weeks. Would you say this weekend you're looking to play your full strength team, or would you say your number one team against State Frontier? Uh, I think there's still an opportunity for us to, to look at um, that sort of, uh, let's call it our depth of our squad to, to rotate. And I think this weekend is another opportunity for that. But as, as Andre said, the big thing is it's one thing to rotate, but it's uh, something else to, to talk about performance. So when we when we rotate, the expectation is for those guys that uh, that's coming in, they they, they need to perform. Um, yeah, and it's, it's all about just taking your opportunities. And then just for you, Andre, um, how big a role are yourself and Willem playing this week in the build up? In that you guys are the you know the the only guys who've really got a bit of experience uh, in a team like State Frontier. I was there for three months. I think Willem was there for three, four years. <laughs> so he'll probably he'll probably chip in a lot. Um, so I'd say, I think it's a new, complete new, completely new setup they have now. Um, new coaches. Um, I, there's only a few guys I've played with that's still playing there. Mm. Um, so yeah, you you can you can just talk about the culture, the rugby culture. They want to throw the ball around, and the French, but they they known for it. So. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll if we can help out, we'll help out. Um, I think Willem will will give a big input. All right, thanks, Ross. Uh, Simon. Thanks, Nyanusu. Hello, guys. Morning. Um, awesome. Just um, a question as far as the competition is concerned. Perhaps a little bit of a psychological question. 
Isn't it, um, and, and taking into consideration um, what you've just said about the Dragons, you've uh, played them week by week or week for week, uh, you would have played Worcester if they were still in the competition, but we know what was ha what has happened. Isn't this, psychologically speaking, actually the, the real beginning of the competition, the EPCR, um, taking on Stade Francais really as a side that they couldn't proper? Um, just just a little bit of an angle, psychologically speaking. And I know, not taking away, I'm asking this question, not taking away about uh, the performance that you had last week and the weeks before. Yeah, I was about to, to answer your question in terms of the Dragon. I think it will be disrespectful if, we, if, if I say yes, uh, to or answer yes to your question. But I think that the big thing is uh, just the excitement around uh, playing against different teams, different competition, obviously. And I think uh, just the buzz this week will be different compared to, say, URC now. Uh, uh, we know stuff from, say, it's one of your your, your bigger teams in, in Europe. So I think the excitement is there. The challenge is there now for us as coaches to prepare the team well and uh, make sure we get a good result uh, come come the weekend. Andre, you want to take a step at that from their perspective? Yeah, we... Yeah, uh, did nothing to, yeah like I said, Dragons is a quality team. Um, they showed it this year. Um, yeah, and be ready for Stade Francais. It's a, like like I said earlier, it's a massive opportunity for the guys They're playing against uh, a French team. It's it's my first time playing against a, um, a, a French team in this competition, so it's going to be awesome. It's going to be an awesome experience. Um, uh, Friday night, we, we always enjoy Friday games. It's really nice. Um, so yeah, we're looking forward to. It's going to be a new challenge. We're also playing at night. Um, so yeah, we're just really looking forward to the challenge. Thank you, Simon. All right, colleagues, uh, Coach Ricky, Andre, thank you very much. Have a good morning. Okay, okay. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck to the week. Thanks, nice. Cheers. 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 I appreciate it.